Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Oh, amen. Amen. Brother Thomas with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a look into another collection of scripture dealing with the deity of Jesus Christ. In John's gospel, we, we've shared many times and many folks have on the I am's, the seven I am's in particular that Jesus is. He's the door, he's the light, he's the shepherd. Right? Jesus is the I am. And in John chapter eight, that becomes very clear as he is being questioned by the Jews, the religious leaders and such. And then said the Jews unto him, now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead and the prophets and thou sayest, I am a man. If a man keep my sayings, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Whom makest thou thyself? Ooh. Is he greater than Abraham and, and the prophets? If we believed in the prophets and the things of the prophets, still men grew, grow old and died. They, the prophets themselves died. Abraham died. If you're saying we believe in you, we won't die. We'll never taste of death. Do you make yourself greater than Abraham and the prophets? Jesus answered, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his sayings. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Wow. That is chapter 8 of John, verses 52 to 59. Jesus is clearly told them that those who believe on me shall never taste of death. Oh no, well, that's not the bodily, physical death. Right? It's eternal. To believe in Jesus is eternal life. No death. While this body may cease to function, we are eternally alive in Jesus Christ. Oh, and hallelujah. And their question is, as we say, you know, you, who are you making yourself out to be? Are you you're greater than Abraham? You're greater than the prophets? Yes, <laughs> he is. For he is the I am. Before Abraham was, I am. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And darkness covered the face of the deep. The spirit moved upon the face of the deep. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And light, Jesus, the spoken word of God, the word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. They being the disciples, and we believe on their word. They beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus, yes. It is the pre-incarnate Christ who stands before Abraham at his tent and tells him of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, it is. It is the I am of the burning bush, Jesus, the word, 
incarnate Christ, who is the voice of the burning bush. I am that I am. Yes, he was before Abraham, and he is eternal. He is eternal life. Indeed he is. And when he says this, they know what he means. I'm, you know, I don't have to twist this. Well, you know, make it say something it doesn't say. We don't have to share this in a way that implies it's a fact. They understood exactly what he meant. Well, they pick up stones to cast at him. They're going to stone him to death. It's blasphemy. He's calling himself God. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. <clears throat> and they took up stones. But what does he do? He hit himself. But Jesus hit himself and went out of the temple going through the midst of them, and so passed by. That one's always fascinated me. How did he do that? Well, the rationalists have a tendency. Well, he, put his, he pulled up his little hoodie and, you know, kind of snuck out. And, or did he in some way blind their eyes to seeing that he was in their midst and walked through them? On more than one occasion, he just walks through their midst. They suddenly he's, and he just walks out. Oh, the power of God. I like that answer better than the little hoodie. Okay. <laughs> what I meant. All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Jesus is the I am. He is God. He is deity. Jesus is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And Jesus is coming again. Jesus is life, eternal life. And so we shall never taste of death. Not that death, amen. But life, life eternal, lived in the glorious light of God's love and truth. Oh, and amen. Oh, and amen. So be not deceived. Let no one tell you otherwise. Jesus is Lord. He is deity. He is God in the flesh. And he is coming again. In Jesus' name.